Hi there. So uh, it's the 24th of January 2022 and um, I've uh, started my YouTube review channel which uh, hopefully some of you are now following and I featured um, my Klein um, travel mug uh, which uh, I got off of uh, Amazon and uh, it's a nice large mug and uh, one comment uh, Marcus uh, at Marcus Live made was um, how 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 strong is the magnet that I mentioned that there was a magnet on this to hold it onto as you can see you know it'll, it'll pull the doors um, so obviously how strong is the magnet in relation to you know the weight that's that's in the cup I don't have a clue uh, I know it'll stop the cup falling over um, if if it's in a panel um, you know if I've got something metal nearby. Uh, I suppose I could make this string a little bit longer and stop it tipping over. Uh, there's some other clever cups I've got, um, which which have sort of sort of like a suction bottom, and I can I can review those and show you those another, at another time. Um, but but for now, um, I thought it would be a great experiment to see how how much this can actually hold. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, the weight of the cup uh, with the lid on, and I need the lid on because the magnet's attached to it. Um, and then I'm going to slowly pour water into the cup and see how heavy the cup weighs once it starts sliding or moving. And I think the best place to do that may be on the fridge, um, but we'll, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to stop for now and measure the cup and we'll jump to that clip in a mo. So we've got the little digital wind scales out. I'm not sure if you can see that on scale. Um, come on, on you go. Battery looks like it might be a bit low. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Battery's a little bit low. Right, we'll try again. So um, we've not got a battery, but I've warmed the battery up a little bit and uh, hopefully it'll work. So we're going to turn the scales on. And it's, oh, it's going to stay low again, damn it. Right, third time lucky. So uh, the, button, the button cell was a, um, a lithium sell a CR2016 um, and I didn't have one of those so I've tried a CR2032 and surprisingly it works. So third time lucky, the scale is on. I'm not sure if you can see that but it's not grams. So what I'm going to do is weigh the cup and the cup is 49 and a half grams. Uh, for those of you in uh, pounds and ounces it's one pound uh, 15 ounces. Oh, um, uh, sorry, let me just check that again. One pound, 1.5 ounces, beg your pardon. And in fluid ounces is 17.5. And in millilitres is 496. But we'll stick to, <coughs> we'll stick to grams. There we go. 49.5 grams. So that's what it weighs. Empty. And obviously this, just to show, there's nothing in there, completely empty. <clears throat> so what I'm going to try now is I'm going to see if I can magnetically stick this to the fridge or somewhere sensible, like I can catch it if it goes. And I'm going to slowly start filling uh, the, 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 the cup up to see how heavy it'll get before it starts sliding or starts to fall. And um, that will give Marcus his answer. Okay, so um, I'm sat on the floor here, right next to the fridge. It's quite low down because I don't want it to fall too far. Um, I've tried to position the cup um, so that it's sort of sitting this way rather than this way. Um, I don't have a particularly great pouring jug. Now, my theory is the cup won't hold any more than its own weight. Um, and it was 495 grams. Um, or... Um, uh, just sort of, uh, for, sorry, 495 mil, beg your pardon. Um, so it was just under half a litre, uh, which is what this is capable of holding. So I'm going to slowly pour it in and we'll see what happens. Uh, excuse me if I spill a few drops. Uh, this is an experiment, after all. And um, we'll slowly start pouring. So far, so good. Oops, spilled a few drops there. Hang on. 
we start to tip a little bit. And what have we done? Uh, we, we've done about 350 mil left to go. So let's see, see if I can uh, carry on with this. I'm not sure if you can see, but that it is actually starting to slide. It is actually starting to move ever so slowly. So it's holding what we've got left. We've got about 250 mil. So we've done about half of we've done about half of the the jug of water. So um, let's see if I can do a little bit more. Oops! Come on, stay still. Stay still. It's doing quite well. It's only sliding ever so slowly. And now I think we're going there. Yep, he's definitely going. It is quite a slidey fridge. So maybe if it was on a rougher surface, it might hold a little bit more. But I'm gonna call that a, a first experiment. And I'm going to go back to the scales now and we'll see how much it's uh, actually held. Uh, so I'll see you in a moment. So we're back to the weighing scales. Um, I have the cup with the water in it. Uh, we have about 100 ml. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, it's about four fluid ounces, or just under four fluid ounces, or 100 ml of water left in the jug. Um, I'm going to return the scales back to the on position. And we're going to pick grams again. Oops, hang on, that's the wrong one. Grams, okay. So we're zeroed. And we're going to place this on there. And we're now 905 grams. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty, you know, considering it's a slidey fridge, um, the magnet's obviously got a lot of weight um, to hold water. Um, yeah, so, so I'm pretty impressed with that, to be fair. But I'm going to give that a go on a slightly rougher, more dimply surface uh, when I'm in the office tomorrow. Uh, I've got a nice sort of uh, control panel that's got like a ripple sort of effect and a painted effect. It's rather than a, a nice, very, very shiny stainless steel surface. So we'll give that another go tomorrow and see how we get on. Uh, but for now, I'm uh, pretty impressed. 905 grams as opposed to... There's our water back in the jug. Four hundred ninety-five grams empty. So, uh, hopefully, Marcus, that answers your question so far. Uh, I think we'll give it an experiment to tomorrow. Thanks for now. So, um, I was pretty impressed with that. Um, I think the calculations work out to be about four hundred and ten grams um, of water held in my Klein uh, mug, uh, travel mug, and obviously held by the magnet on a quite a slidey stainless steel fridge, um, and. Yeah, 400, 410 grams is, is, is quite a reasonable conclusion so far. Um, it'd be nice to see somebody uh, prove me different. Uh, if I had some weights, it'd be quite cool. And you could drop the little weights in. That would be quite an, an easier uh, task. But uh, I think the water worked quite well. Water weighs, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, as it does. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to give that a try. One more try uh, on, a, on a second video, perhaps, um, once I get some feedback. And we'll... Um, try it on a, on a slightly dimplier surface or a control panel type surface which is what this was designed for it's a travel mug or a, or a workman's uh, coffee mug or tea mug whatever you, you, your preference is in terms of uh, drink but it's work, it's designed for the workforce uh, designed on site and that's kind of where I work is um, where we've got uh, a control panel with a that kind of textured surface so uh, we'll give that another go tomorrow in the office and uh, I'll perhaps do an update on the video uh, later in the week. Anyway, goodbye for now and uh, thanks for following. Uh, if you haven't already already subscribed, uh, please uh, subscribe or, or if you prefer not to, just give me a little thumbs up. Um, it helps my channel, it helps me, um, gives me some feedback, some comments would be nice. I, I like to answer the questions and uh, I've, as Marcus asked, I, I like to follow up with a, a video um, showing, showing um, what it is capable of. So um, anyway, good evening. 
and uh, good day. Bye, bye.